And good afternoon and welcome to the second video in the series of solo playthroughs of Project L that I'm doing. Uh, this is a sponsored video, sponsored by the publisher, because this game is on Kickstarter uh, right now. Uh, I've done some multiplayer playthroughs, which went live yesterday on the channel. I've just done a solo playthrough of the base game, and right now I'm going to be doing uh, a solo playthrough, but with Finesse. Finesse is the new expansion, which adds a small amount to the game that makes you think about it twice as much as you did before. So I'm not going to be going through all of the rules this time. I am just going to be covering what's new in Finesse. So here we go. There are a bunch of Finesse tiles included in the game. There's A's, B's and C's. You shuffle them all together. You pick six C's, two A's, two B's. Then you shuffle those together and you deal them out like this. There's 10 of them. Uh, the first two are face down and we effectively we can ignore those. Uh, and then these ones are face up and active. Now, Finesse changes the game in a couple of ways. First of all, there are now a fixed number of rounds. So we have 10 rounds maximum, which is fewer than you would normally get in a normal game. However, you can do more on those rounds. In each round, you look at the current Finesse tiles. So in round one, there isn't one. So no changes to the rules. In round two, there isn't one. But in the future rounds, that Finesse tile becomes active. So this is the Finesse tile that's active in round three this one in round four, this one in round five, etc, etc, and you remove it once you've dealt with it. There's two colours as you can see, uh, there is the pink and there is the teal or turquoise. Uh, now the colours mean different things, so the pink basically is whenever you do the thing which is printed on there, you will get the bonus printed at the bottom, which is a coin or it's a credit. The game comes with these, these credits that are really, really nice. Um, so basically this one, for example, whenever you put one of those depicted pieces into a puzzle, you get one credit. So the pink ones are for whenever you do a particular thing. The turquoise ones are at the end of your turn, you will get credits based on the things depicted on there. So basically what they do is they change your approach to the game because you'll want to do certain things at certain times. Other than that, the way that the solo game in Finesse works I haven't mentioned what the credits are used for, I'll come back to that in a minute, is that I'm playing against Steve now. Uh, yeah, because Colin, Colin was too good. So uh, I'm playing against Steve now. Um, it takes two puzzles on a turn, not just one. So it takes one as normal, uh, but then we'll take also the lowest point value from that column as well. Now at the start of the game, that might be it takes one of the zeros, which is, which is great. Um, but yeah, going to be taking two puzzles a turn, which is going to speed up the game. Okay, so back to the credits. First rule about credits is any credits you gain on your turn, you cannot spend on that turn. So what you're supposed to do is any credits that you gain, you put to the left of your board. Uh, and then at the end of your, what's this good luck, Steve? What about good luck me? Gah. Chris is here as well. Hi, Chrissy. Um, so yeah, any credits you gain on your turn, you can't spend. You put them to the left of your board. At the end of your turn, you move them to the right of your board and then you can spend them on your next turn. Two credits will buy you an extra action. It's as simple as that, okay? Um, it's called the insert action, but it's effectively, it's the same as any other action that you normally want to do. Same rules on the master action. You can only do the master action once per turn. The other thing, at the, well, uh, the other thing as well, at the end of the game, if you saw from the previous playthrough, any pieces that you use in the finishing touches part of the game, will cost you one point per piece. With Finesse, you can spend coins instead. So every credit you spend at the end of the game in the finishing touches section will allow you to add a puzzle piece into there. And if you saw the multiplayer stream that uh, went live yesterday, um, I basically did that eight times at the end of the game. I was saving up my credits and then I spent all my credits at the end of the game and just completed a load of puzzles. Uh, and that got me the win. Right, we are, we are, we are on, so yeah and difficulty level. So the rules say you can play with either six pieces or three pieces or zero. I hope this is okay, but I'm doing something that isn't in the rule book. I'm actually going to play on four. Okay, so it's between the easy and the medium one. I can't see why you can't do this. As I say, easy is supposed to be six, medium is three, and then like super hard is, is zero. But I'm going I'm to play with four pieces um, and we'll see how we get on. Right, okay. As normal, my go first. I'm not going to try and make any mistakes this time, which means I'm going to make loads of mistakes. Let's just have a look at these tiles. So 
in round three, every time you put one of those pieces into a puzzle, you get a credit. So I'm thinking about this and I'm thinking, oh, I probably want to do that. Round four, this is interesting. I haven't played with this one before. This is when you use the master action, every piece you add, no matter what it is, will get you a credit. So basically on round four, I want to do a master action and put a piece in four things. Martin's rooting for me. Yes, I'm playing between normal and hard. That's okay. Uh, it's not in the rule book, but I'm doing it anyway. <clears throat> uh, this one is very similar to that one. This is for having those pieces. This is for having incomplete puzzles. This is for doing the upgrade action. This is for having types of pieces, and this is for putting those in. Okay, you could think about this to the nth degree, but I'm, I'm just gonna make a start uh, and see where we get on. And I don't want Steve to be taking any puzzles at the start of the game, but I think he's probably going to. You probably are, aren't you? Yes. Okay, well, let's, let's go with a different approach to last time. Ah, uh, but I want that piece. But then if I do that one, oh no, ah. Will that work? It might work. I kind of want these, right. Let's think about this. If I try and get, I don't want to think about this too much. <laughs> uh, okay, let's let, let's do it. Let's take first action. I'm going to take this piece here. Brendan's here. Hi, Brendan. Thank you for joining in. So first action is to take that. That moves one of those pieces to there. And then that gets replenished like so. Okay. Does that change what I was going to do? Possibly. I'm going to say possibly. I mean, yes, it is. Okay, so my second action is I am going to take this piece. I take that piece and I put it there. That moves that to there and that gets replaced by this one. Oh, I didn't want that. I did not want that. <sighs> oh, well, my third action is the master action. I'm going to put that in there, that in there. That completes that one. Gets me one of these. Gets me this back. Done. Right. Colin's go. Colin is taking a piece from this column. Um, so it's going to take this piece because it's the highest point value. So that's yours. All of these, sorry, puzzle. All of these go there along with that one and that one. Okay. Now, as mentioned earlier on in the finesse expansion, uh, your opponent takes two pieces. Uh, and if it's a tie, then it takes the, uh, yeah, because they're both worth zero points. Then it takes the one nearest the top. I believe that's right. Martin will tell me if I'm wrong. Steve's poker face is unplayable. Yes, <laughs> exactly right. Um, so yeah, I think it takes the top one if it's a tie. So we're going to replenish uh, this uh, and then this. Now I've done them in that order because that was the order in which they're taken. We are, I'm, as I say, I'm working on the, the new rule book for this game. We will be clear in that rule book whether you're supposed to replace them uh, immediately or in a different order. Um, you're right, Steve takes the one on the top. So yeah, we just need to clarify Martin in the rule book which order these are replaced in because I'm thinking if there's a white one and a black one, it's not going to matter too much. Right, that's Steve's go over. That is round one over. So we move that out of the way. We are on round two. So I want to try and get some of these pieces for that turn. Right. Now, I also know Steve is going to take this. Right now, Steve is going to take that piece. Because it's the highest point value in a column that doesn't have any things. So I'm going to take this one. Okay, first action is to take that one. My second action is I'm going to upgrade. I'm going to upgrade this little level one piece into a level two piece. And my third action is I'm going to do the master action. And I'm going to complete both of those. That gets me two more green pieces. All about the green today. Right, there you go. That gets replaced. Okay, so on Steve's go. Uh, yeah, Steve takes this one. And then the lowest point one from the same column, which is this one. Okay, so I'm going to deal these out, starting with that one. 
then that one. We are now into the black puzzle tiles already, and that is round two gone. This is going to be a quick game. So this, is, this finesse tile here is now active. Oh, Steve took one from this column. Yes, that means that should go there. Yeah. Right, so this is now active. So, yeah, I, uh, I can only do it twice, I think. Well, we could do that. No, 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 I need to save up. I need to save up puzzles for this to try and get the optimum amount of credits for that. So I think I can do that. Um, I don't really so i know steve's going to take from this column so i don't really want to give him a high value tile even though i really want that piece so i'm going to take i think i'm going to take two pieces and then i'm going to use the master action and put two pieces in that's my plan Uh, so it will be that one and that one and that one. Okay, I'm going to take, oh, and I'm going to look at these for what we want next. Oh, wow. Planning ahead. Okay, so I'm going to take this one. So my first action is to take that. That gets replenished. And that moves one of the pieces from there to there. You can still see that? Yeah, you can still see that. Right, does that change? No, it doesn't. So my second action. Is going to be. I think it's too early for that. <clears throat> my second action is going to be to take this piece, uh, this puzzle which moves that from there to there. Look at these big ones. Right, and my third action is the master action. So that goes there, that goes there, and that gets me two credits. Okay, because remember, every time I put one of those types of pieces into a puzzle, I get a credit. Now, strictly speaking, those credits go here, because they're not mine, but that was the last action of my turn. And now they go over here and I can spend them. Um, right. Steve. Steve takes from this column, uh, he takes that one, and then he takes that one. And we move those over. I assume we only move one piece over each time he takes one. And not one piece per puzzle tile. Again, we'll clarify that in the rule book, make sure that's, that's clear. Right. Yeah, we're running out of these tiles. So actually, I said there was going to be 10 rounds in the game. There's only five black tiles left. Have I definitely set this up correctly? <laughs> because these are going to run out really quick. I'm looking at the chat to see if Martin's saying anything. Maybe I need to be stopping Colin taking any tiles. <clears throat> oh, I think, hang on, shouldn't have those have gone there? Yeah. Yeah, I think I forgot to put these pieces because Colin took tiles from this column. So I think those two pieces should have gone there. There you go. So we know Colin's taking from this column next. But yeah, it just seems to be flying through because he's going to take another two puzzles on his turn. Right, my go. Next. So this is the master action. Every time you do the master action, oh, well, you can only do it once per turn, <clears throat> but for basically each piece you put in a puzzle, you're gonna get stuff. And I've just realized I don't have enough to make this completely efficient. Um, so we're gonna take a puzzle and we're gonna take This is hard. We're going to take this one. So action one, 
I'm going to take a puzzle that moves that from there to there. Hmm. So I could do this, but I think it's inefficient. So action two is going to be the master action. And I'm going to put that there. Oh yeah, I've done it again, haven't I? <laughs> I can't finish any of these pieces. Okay, undo that, undo that. Action two is going to be the upgrade action. I'm going to upgrade that to that. Okay, action three is going to be the master action. That goes there, that goes there, and that goes there. That was action three. This comes back to me. I get one of those. Right, that's action three. I could... Oh, and I gained three credits for that. Because I did the master action, and I gained three... And I, did, I placed three pieces. So that's three credits next turn. I could now spend these two to take another action. If I want to. <clears throat> Uh, that should be replaced. Oh gosh. See, that's the piece for next turn. And I'm pretty awful at that. Because uh, I've got none of those pieces at all. So, yeah, wow. Um, okay, so that's what I need to do then. I think, I think I might save this. Yeah, I'm going to save this. Yeah, done. Not going to save it. I, I'm, I'm not going to spend it. I'm going to save it. Right. Steve's go. So Steve takes from this column, takes this one. That goes there, that goes there, that goes there, that goes there, and then he takes that one. So what we know is that Steve isn't going to take a tile on his next turn. Great. And I get these three. And that goes. Wow, we are on round five. And now I get credits for placing those types of pieces into my puzzles and I have none of those types of pieces. So I don't think I'm going to get any credits this turn, but I'm hoping to get some that turn. And I still want to do the master action, so the master action is going to be that in there, that in there. I guess I could upgrade. Bad, but then I don't have any yellow pieces. So what we're going to take what are we going to take? Now these fours can be quite nice, but I want ones that give those two. And there aren't any. Now you can, you can take from the top of the deck if you want to. Um, yeah, okay. <clears throat> I can block Steve for two turns. Yes, that's, that's what I'm planning to do. Yeah, so my first action is to take this. Okay, so that removes one of those from there to there. That's my first action. My second action is the master action. So put that in there, that in there, and that in there. That was my second action. So that completes that. Gets me a purple piece. Okay, now I could potentially have, I mean, I've got a third action, but then I could potentially buy two more. Uh, that gets replenished. Oh, yeah, I've got to be very, very careful now. If I take another piece, that triggers the end of the game. Are we definitely sure we're playing this right? Because that seems awfully quick. We haven't done any of this. One more piece gets taken, and that triggers the end of the game. Yeah, that does seem quick. Um... Right, I've got a third action left. I don't want to take another piece because that will trigger the end of the game. I'm just going to 
double check the rules for the setup. Martin hasn't said anything to say I've got it wrong. Uh, solo variant of finesse you set up as per the base game. Um, yeah. Yeah, okay, we got it right. It's just gone really, really quick. Uh, what do the credits do? So the credits are, I can spend two credits to take an extra action, or I can spend them at the end for finishing touches. Um, so yeah, so I don't think I want to trigger the end of the game. But it's going to happen soon. So I think as my third action, I think I might just place... Have I put the correct number of puzzles in there? I think so. Let, let me just double check. Let me just count. So there should be 15 white. Finesse. Uh, sorry, solo variant. 15 white and 10 black. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13. 14, 15. Yep, so they're the white ones. And then the black ones, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah. Yeah, I have put the right ones in there. <laughs> it's just taking two a turn just seems really quick. But that's, uh, that's, that's, what, that's what it does. Uh, always takes two puzzles. The first puzzle is chosen in the same way. But the second puzzle is chosen in the same column, but the one with the least amount of points. Yeah. Okay. Right. So I've got my third action left. Um, so. I think I might upgrade. I'm going to upgrade that one to a to a three right and i'm not going to buy any bonus actions okay so on steve's go steve cannot take a puzzle because all of the columns are locked so what happens is one piece from each column goes into there right that's the end of the round done my go so the finesse tile for the for this is at the end of this round for each one of those pieces i have i get a credit at the moment that is only one um okay steve is just too good yes he is not got that many points though but neither do i <laughs> so i think uh, i think i'm gonna have to take another one and start triggering the end of the game that means the game's going to end there we're not going to get any of this in wow this is quick this is quick I mean, as long as I've got the puzzle pieces at the end to get the credit, to spend the credits to do the finesses, then we should be okay. Ah, but if I take a puzzle, Steve's going, no, if I take one from here, Steve's not going to take one. Look at them with these beady little eyes, thinking about it. Okay, so which one? Which one is it going to be? I think it's going to be this one. So my first action is I'm going to take that one. Okay. That gets replenished, that triggers the end of the game. My second action is going to be the master action. And I'm going to put that in there. And I'm going to put that in there. And make sure I don't get caught out like I did in the previous game. And I'm going to put that one in there. Okay. So that was my second action. That is complete. I get one of those. Right. And now my third action. I don't want to take a piece. So my third action 
is to... Hmm. No, I shouldn't worry about that because I don't think it's going to matter. Third action, I'm going to put that there. Now, do I want to buy any bonus actions? <clears throat> I don't think I do. Now, so at the end of my turn, I have one of those pieces and one of those pieces. So I get another two credits. Okay. Steve's Go can't take a puzzle because all the columns are locked. So those all get removed. That is the end of that round. We are now on the last round of the game. So I'm just going to remove those. So this was a seven round game. So it's points for incomplete puzzles at the end of your turn, which you then want to make sure you can finish with the finesse. Now, where do I want Steve to take a puzzle from? I don't have a choice. Well, I kind of do. At the moment, he's going to take that one and then he'll take that one. If I take that one myself, Steve will then take that one followed by that one, which is the fewest points. I think that's what we have to do. Action one, I'm going to take that. And it doesn't get replenished because there's nothing there. Right. Action two is going to be the master action. And that's going to go there. Oh, please don't tell me I've messed this up. No, I think we're okay. So that's action two, is the master action. That completes that. Gets me the blue. That goes there. Action three. <laughs> oh, I might have messed this up. Because I don't have the piece for there. Oh no, that's that. I, I don't have enough. I can't do it. Oh, I have messed this up again. I'm still not very good at this game, am I? No, I am still not good at this game. So yeah, I've, me I've messed this up. I don't have the pieces to finish these. So I think my only choice here is action... Th I'm on action three, aren't I? I think I'm on action three. Yeah, the level two puzzle in the middle. Uh, yeah. I'll come to that in a minute. <laughs> Where, where am I up to? I've lost track of where I'm up to. I think... Uh, I can't remember. Let me just have a look at where I'm up to. Right, so this is me going into the last round. And I think the first action I did was the master action. No, the first action I did was take something. Then the second action I did was the master action. Yeah, second action I did was the master action. Right, so I've got one action left. Yeah, action three, thank you. And action three is going to be that. Then I am going to spend two credits for a fourth action, which is going to be that. Okay, and then I say done. And at the end of my turn, I have one incomplete puzzle, so I get a credit. Right. Steve's last go. Steve takes the highest point one, uh, and then in the snaky order, so that's that one, plus then the lowest point value one in that, which is those. And then we have finishing touches. And at this point, oh, so that goes, I'm now going to spend my credits to finish this puzzle. And I'm sure I can do this now. So that's one two, three, four, five. So I spend five credits, one, two, three, four, five, and that is the puzzle complete. Okay, time to add up the scores. No negatives this time. That was a quick game, that was brutal. And that took half an hour, which is the same time as the previous one. So five, nine, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 
Paul scores 17. Steve. Feed your little eyes. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Victory for me, which means one Stroop Waffle is mine. I'm going to have this afterwards. That is a that is a tricky game to think about. It's all about optimizing your moves and being efficient with your actions. Uh, and certainly with the finesse tiles, having to adapt your strategy that you would normally take in the base game and d basically do different things at different times. There's a whole bunch of these tiles included. Um, so you shuffle, as I said, you, you, you go through a setup process uh, where you put them all in. Um, and yeah, I, I will speak to the designs afterwards because that was a good length and it was a good, good thinking. But I think you could make the game a bit longer. I think you could add a few more white and black tiles and just extend it for a couple of more rounds longer. I don't know if that would break anything in the game, but I'll, I will talk to them about that afterwards because that did feel uh, that did feel um, a bit short at seven rounds. Um, but yeah, yeah, we'll see. Uh, Steve's going to get some stick from Colin in the pub tonight. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> there you go. Yeah. And as I say, that was using a customizable difficulty level that I um, that I just made up myself. Uh, we used four four cubes and I won. So if I played again um, against Steve, I'd, I'd drop that down to three. And that's what you can do. You can keep you can keep dropping down how many level one pieces that the opponent starts with uh, to basically customize the difficulty for you. But also playing solo is it's good preparation for the skills that you'll need when you play this multiplayer. Because a lot of the skill in this game is the timing, being efficient with your actions, when to take a puzzle, when not to take a puzzle. Uh, knowing the right amount of risk to take because you don't want to get to the end of the game and suddenly find that you've done all your puzzles and you had pieces spare. You want to be trying to get as many points as you can, but you don't want to reach too far. You don't want to take on too many puzzles and then not be able to complete them, which is something that I've, uh, I've done on more than one occasion. So yes, thank you very much for watching these videos today. This has been the fourth and final video that I have done in my Project L series. They're all on the channel now. Um, so I did a multiplayer playthrough which went live yesterday. I did a multiplayer playthrough with Finesse that also went live yesterday. I did a solo playthrough about an hour ago um, and I've just done a solo playthrough with Finesse. Um, as always, please click thumbs even if you're watching the video now live. Uh, please click that little thumb and leave a comment. Um, thank you very much to Board Cubator for asking me to do this. I'm looking forward to working with you on, the, on finishing off the rulebook work. And yeah, thank you very much to all of my Patreon supporters for helping fund the channel. And I will see you all, what day is it? Tuesday. I'll see you tomorrow for some more live streams. Um, but that's everything for now. So yeah, take care, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll speak to you all soon. Proudly sponsored by Game Toppers, upgrading your gaming experience. Visit GameToppersLLC.com.